Hi guys, today on A Little's A Lot, we're going to talk about um, some using um, different ways to pack lunches, more um, environmentally friendly ways to pack lunches and to um, work in your kitchen. Um, we're going to replace paper towels, napkins, and um, plastic bags that you might use with your lunch um, with towels. So um, some of my favorite things about this technique, um, I'll just show you my, I, uh, my friend from Japan actually is the first person to um, talk to me about this idea. And she brought this for me um, back from a visit and I asked her, she just brought it to me and I was like, well, this is, thank you, you know, but what do you use this for? And um, she said, you wrap your sandwich in it for lunch. And, you know, it was a real duh, duh moment, you know, of course you can wrap your sandwich in this for lunch. There's no need for a plastic bag to buy and waste money on and then to throw away. Um, and pollute the environment. Plastic, when it's made, pollutes the environment. When it's thrown away, pollutes the environment. And even to recycle plastic pollutes the environment less than throwing it away. But still, plastic is something that you should try to get out of your life as much as possible. So, I'm going to tell you a, cool, a couple cool things. So that was the authentic original one from um, Japan. Now here, is one that I like. This is my favorite one. And uh, I used to have these really great vintage um, 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 pillowcases on my bed, you know, when I was younger. But then when I got older and got married and I had to start sharing my living space with my husband, you know, you have to sort of put away um, some of these. Um, colorful jumbled things that you have around your house and start to get like a scheme, you know, where you want like the pillowcases to match and, you know, everything to look a little more male, a little more like a bachelor pad, a little more modern. So I, I was, you know, faced with this dilemma. What do I do with my old pillowcases? And um, it was very hard for me to get rid of them. And then when she showed me this, um, the wheels started turning, and so now I use this to pack my lunches. This is another example where I just took a towel and I just cut it up. Um, Alright, so, you know, nothing wasted. I took the towel, I cut it up, I can pack a sandwich in it for my lunch. So these are all different things that I use to pack lunches. I'll pack, I'll pack lunches in all of these. I have several of them in my cabinet. Here's some smaller ones that I've cut up, and these I use for napkins. So for dinner parties, I just kind of roll them up and put a little um, napkin holder around them if I want, or I can just fold them into a square and put silverware on them if I want. So here's some napkins. Um, and then these are just little tiny squares that I've also cut. And I like to use them for things like washing my dishes um, or for a quick napkin, you know, um, if I'm just by myself, no need to be fancy. And then here today, I'm going to cut this shirt up. Now this shirt belonged to my husband's father who passed away um, about two or three years ago. And my husband wore this shirt um, until he couldn't wear it anymore. There's holes in it and it's just, it, there's holes in the back of it and it's just, you know, too worn. So he went to throw it away but I said, no, don't throw it away, honey. Let's save it. I'll cut it up and we'll use it to take lunches in. And this way he gets to keep his childhood memories. He gets to keep a piece of his father. I get to keep my childhood memories. And we're saving the environment all at the same time.